Okay, here we go. Work. Head it off. This is done. It's, as you can see, it's snowing again. <laughs> oh, you're not being able to see all this. Start recording. So far, so good. As long as we don't have another car coming down the street, we'll be okay. It looks like my tax dollars at work here. But you can't really complain. It doesn't do any good. piece together sorry about that um, it's always a long light there's nobody else around I could go but you know not gonna risk it I guess we'll see what happens um, here it goes it's going now bam come on don't make a fool out of me there we go it's hard to do the street's pretty clear. So, I don't know what's going on with the GoPro, but I guess we're still recording. I'm looking at my phone on the GoPro app. It looks like we are. It says we are. It says 18 seconds, and I don't know what's up with that. Now it's a minute 26. It'd be nice to be able to see it on the screen so I can see what I'm looking at. So I'm trying to watch the camera, hold the camera, and that's what it's at. You can see there's virtually no traffic on the roads. Hopefully that's not the same as it works. But somebody's got to be on the road to get there. And hopefully they're just waiting for him to clear up a little bit. Guys like me go in there and clear it off, and then the other guys live far away. Come in and help out when they can get there. But it's going to be a challenge for some of these guys that live. Like we got one guy that lives in Florida. That's going to be a challenge coming up 270. A couple guys from Wentzville, they always have problems even when it just rains a little bit because obviously the people that live out there don't know how to fucking drive. because of the snow even when it rains everything gets jammed up so I'm not saying anything bad about Wentzville except for the drivers even when we go play golf and we come through there and there's a little rain or something it's always fucked up and here we sit in another light so my brother Dennis could have taken care of it as far as with the company that he worked for before but for some reason he neglected to do that. Thanks a lot, buddy. So, I'm sitting here wasting gas. Speaking of which, I got a hundred miles still empty. I got a 
Lincoln behind me, and I don't know what the hell this is. Toyota Rap 4 next to me. And there's a guy over there with a homemade snow plow. Looks like trying to make some money. And we're sitting, and nobody's going there. Finally, it's green. How about that? just from the roads as you can see on the side of the roads that's from the road crew course, this is on the way to city hall so this should be pretty clear also the way to the hospital which is the route we're taking because we figured it would be clear and so far so good it's a hospital route and we're trying to interfere with the hospital don't get me wrong i don't want to hear a lot of guff from everybody over the hospital route oh what if you broke down and the ambulance couldn't get by If I do, then you can bitch at me. Ooh, look at this. Traction control, baby. We got traction control. This might be an older car. She's a good one. Very, very good to me. So, as you can see, the roads back here are fairly clear. up to maybe not so much. This is the part of the route that could be a little bit weird. Hopefully they have this bridge traffic cleared off. We've got these roundabouts up here. I don't know why they put those. They spent a lot of money making these. Somebody's brother-in-law who's on the city council or something got this job. It's supposed to prevent accidents. This seems like it creates a lot more confusion. And not for me, of course. Even though I'm an elderly driver, I know what's, who's supposed to yield and who isn't. They don't. Not me. It's not me. So, it's kind of a lonely drive, it looks like today. I'm like the only one on the road, almost. At least the only one back here. And here we are. This is Turnberry Apartments there, and then there's some homes, and actually some Section 8 housing back in there as well. So. Now we're coming up right here to the right, which you can't see, I'll show you, right there. That's Luke Fuse's lot. They haven't cleaned up a damn car up their lot. They haven't touched, they haven't even touched their lot. They're probably not even coming in today. You know what? Look at that. You couldn't get in there if you wanted to. Holy crap. Well, where do you see our lap when we pull up in that? I guarantee you there's guys there already working. We're proactive, baby. Okay, stop right turn on red in Missouri. Whoa. Okay, so the outer road here is not all that great a shape. Man, there's an accident up here. Not on this side, but on the highway. Here's Highway 70. You can see there's hardly any traffic over there. You see, that was on, that's not an accident, that's just a road. Look at this guy. Can you see that guy? He's going at a pretty good clip. I'm doing 30. Yeah. Anyway, we're back on the road here. Whoops, I'm going to watch what I'm doing and not the camera. We got some big mounds in here. Holy Christ. And there's another loop views, and they pushed it all out to the street. I think that's illegal, pushing the snow across the highway, state highway, and I think this is a state road, not a county road, I could be wrong. And I'm not sure what the county or city laws are about pushing snow across the road. Here comes some oncoming traffic, and a big old pickup truck, and he wants to hit his brakes and start swerving, great, way to go. way over on my side. You saw that. You see the yellow line? I'm well to the right of the yellow line. He wasn't. So, there's not much of a path here. So, it looks like you got to kind of share this. And here we're going to a bridge. This is, might get a little bit unnerving here because you can't really see where the snow banks might be. So, Well to the right of the yellow line. I can see the yellow line through the 
snow, I thought you could see it. But I'm well to the right. I just can't hardly see where the snow bank starts, and I don't want to get mad, and it'll suck me in there. You know that, right? So you don't want to get too far into that. See that? How it kind of pulled me over there a little bit? There we go. See? See the yellow line now? I'm well to the right of that. Well to the right of it. So we're going to slow down a little bit so we don't spin out here. He's well to the left. A little wave to him for being a good driver. You don't see the wave because it's actually behind the camera. So, anyway. So far we're at nine minutes. Not bad to get to work on a day with eight inches plus of snow and coming down. And it looks like I might be the only one here. I'm the only one here. Yeah, it looks like we pushed our snow into the street as well. Uh, I don't know what the deal is here. Okay, we're here. That's the end of this video.